What is this? Today I'm going to talk about one of the trophies in Final Fantasy VII Remake that I think is utter bullshit. Yep, it's the Pyrrhus of Pull-Ups trophy which requires you to complete all pull-up challenges in the game. Excuse me. So this mini-game is actually part of the main story as you'll naturally come to this point in the game during the wall market section and you have to do this pull-up challenge with Tifa and considering I think she's an absolute badass I think this trophy is going to be pretty easy to be honest she won't even break a sweat so after speaking to the guy he then challenges us and after accepting we get taken into the mini game and when it starts I quickly realize that this could probably become a bit of a nightmare trophy to unlock so the pull up challenge is basically a sort of quick time event sort of rhythm game where you'll see the triangle circle x and square face buttons on screen and you have to press them as this little arrow moves over them and it will go through a set route each time and you basically have to learn that route before the on screen prompts disappear and then you have to keep that rhythm in your mind as you go through and press them but you've got to be careful not to press them too early or too late because if you do that teeth will end up falling which will cost you valuable seconds and give the AI opponent a chance to get into the lead so as you're doing this it actually gets harder because the speed at which that arrow moves to each of the face buttons will get quicker but as the answering prompts disappear off screen it can be harder to know when you have to press them um, in time so it causes you to make more mistakes thankfully the first challenge isn't that hard and you can easily complete it mainly because that is part of the actual games campaign but after doing that you will unlock some optional challenges the amateur difficulty rank which if you go and speak to this guy you can then challenge him and these aren't part of the main story these are the mini missions that you can do in order to unlock the trophy and once you start the amateur one it's kind of where you'll start to smell that whiff of bullshit because this guy will just start to just catch you up out of nowhere and you've got to be really good at this at this point you've got you can't really make many mistakes here because if you do you'll suddenly find the AI opponent just flies ahead out of nowhere Bullshit. so one of the worst things about this is trying to get the timing down of when you press the buttons when the on-screen prompts disappear from the screen because if you try and look at Tifa and her animations they don't quite line up right and you'll often find if you try and follow that you'll end up pressing them too early or too late or falling off or you'll result in having this on-screen button appear with a yellow flash around it where you have to then spam the button to quickly get past that which takes a lot of time and allows the computer to catch up so this one has two rounds and by the end of the second round you need to be in the lead because if you are lower than him or tied with him well you would think you would win but a draw will actually equal a defeat which i think is absolutely bullshit I think one of the most frustrating things about it is just how fast the computer can go. You can be ahead by two or three and then you'll just take your eye off him for a second and then look back and suddenly he's ahead of you by five because he's just he's just somehow unnaturally sped up and just flew through pull-ups and got ahead of you and it's just really frustrating when that happens and the amount of draws you'll end up getting is just wow. Bullshit! Ugh. It's just a really horrible one and you definitely need to be ahead by the end of the first round. Hopefully you can get one or two ahead of him because that will definitely help you when you go into the second round because he will catch you. Ugh. It's just so frustrating and even if you do have a lead of one or two, if you're not quick enough, he will catch you and go ahead of you and that is just devastating. And the pressure is definitely on. When you can't see the on-screen prompts, you want to press those buttons really quickly. But you've just got to keep your nerve, to be honest. But eventually, you'll end up beating him. And unfortunately, it doesn't actually end there. Because that just unlocks a pro difficulty with an even harder challenge. An even harder challenge than that? Oh my fucking god. Oh. They just don't know when to quit, so somehow there's an even harder version of that. On one there, I just struggled to even beat that after several attempts, and now you're telling me there's an even harder one. Oh my 
god game what are you trying to do to me here so this final one the pro difficulty is where it really 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 gets bullshit because this guy this guy can just fucking just fly ahead of you out of fucking nowhere and he has to be he has to be cheating because you can't do it that quick because if i press them that quick i will end up falling off yet he look how fucking quick he's doing then look 27 28 29 30 31 32 fucking 33 what the fuck are you on mate you are a fucking cheat man i swear you're just taking some performance enhancing drugs here because you cannot be pulling them up that quickly look at it i am going really quick myself but i'm still not blistering a head like he is it's just absolutely bullshit you could be doing really well and not making a single mistake throughout the whole thing and you can still end up losing by 10 10 10 fucking pull-ups are you fucking kidding me and of course every time you do this it's a good couple of minutes of playing through it getting through all the ending sequences then challenging them again and waiting for it to load up and start so that can add to your frustration and it does kind of hurt your hand after a while as well because you're trying to press them all really quickly and every time you play it again the order of the buttons to press will also change so you might have a really good rhythm at one point and then you end up confusing it for the button order from the last round you tried and that just confuses you even more so you've always got to be aware of what you're pressing and where and in what order <laughs> it just makes it even harder than it needed to be if it was the same order each time you could kind of get a pattern down and a rhythm down and nail it but the fact that it mixes it up each time you retry it just makes it even harder and trust me you'll be seeing that failed defeated screen again and again and again and it's just soul destroyed to be honest and it really really starts to piss you off after a while because you just blatantly know that he's just rubber banding to catch you up because it's just so blatantly obvious when it happens because all of a sudden this guy just pulls out this nitro that's shoved up his ass and he ends up flying through the fucking challenge doing about 10 in a row and by that point Tifa's only managed to pull up about three times it just ends up making you hating on Tifa because she just seems useless by comparison most people would say something sweet right about now oh, okay well Tifa you're not as annoying as Aerith is in this game because she is just absolutely fucking useless Ugh, do me a favour, just leave her there, Cloud, please. So, we restart the challenge, and we try it again. Oh my god. By this point, I'm just really, really annoyed with it, because I feel like I'm doing really well, and most of these times, I'm not even falling off the bar once throughout each round, so I feel like I'm doing it pretty perfect. I'm just not managing to go as fast as he can, and when I always see him fall off after his fourth pull-up in that first round, I just know it's fake, and it doesn't matter even if I get a lead, because he's gonna catch me up anyway. And it's just, it's just an absolute cheap, cheap challenge because you need to be absolutely perfect and not make any mistakes and you need to go really fast even though you can't see the buttons to press and in that second round the pressure is on to keep that lead which just results in me making more mistakes but if you can get ahead in that first round wow oh my god i'm free in front that is the best i've ever done after round one. Oh, this could be it i could finally be about to beat this guy come on come on i can do this come on tifa we can do this i can hear that final fantasy battle music playing in my head and it's pumping me up i know i can do this this is my time i've come too far to get stuck at something as bullshit as this bit now come on tifa just pull through and push through that pain we can do it come on come on come on oh god oh no he's catching us oh no not like this not again come on come on come on come on yes come on we can catch him now come on this is it come on we can sneak it come on come on come on oh oh god i think i did it i think i did it Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes! Oh yes! Fuck you, guy! Yes! We did it! We fucking did it at last! Oh my god! Oh, oh there it is! There's the trophy! Oh my god! Fuck yes! I did it at last! Thank you! 
Thank you. Oh my days. You know what? I think that was the hardest thing I did in this game. As that pull-up challenge and that guy, that final guy, was the hardest boss in the game for me. Because he defeated me more than Bahamut and fucking Sephiroth at the end. As well as the Hell House. I died to him more than those three bosses combined. And you know what? There isn't much else worse in the game, except for maybe being stuck in a lift with Aerith, because it might just be me, but I thought she was really, really grating and annoying in this game. But the push-up challenge trophy gets a bullshit trophy rating of... Bullshit. 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 Shit! You sell some! It's all bullshit! Oh shit!